Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Legendary Iron Man playthrough. Operation Hell Mask is the next one. I want to get some enemy material, which uh, means we are going in with our team. Ataxia here is helping all of the squaddies to kind of go through these 18 enemies. And hopefully the laser rifles will be enough to make our way through them. So join me when this is hopefully going to go in the right direction. Here we go. All right, landed. Uh, this is one of the missions where we got to take crates. Got to fix the evac. And the taxia is the one that can scout for us. Let's hope we're not running into a pack right away. All right, we're good. In which case, sniper goes to high uh, to high ground. You go to high ground. Um, See Kim low ground and Baldi Logs. Uh, that would be flanking. Let's position ourselves here. Okay, aggressive first move. That's good. <sighs> wow, that's a beefy pack. And lots of cover for them to work with. Specifically, the Spectre is a problem. I want to keep this high ground here for our own purpose, so... Let's get ri uh, rid of this over here. I can already hear the Losts, who are somewhere out there. Death from above, this would be a secure kill. Let me just add some, uh, some, get some. Good hit. That's the opposite of a really, really good hit. Let's kill him. Okay. All right, getting the trooper. I like that. Let's give Baldilox another turn. Taxi has two of these commands. And that was a very clean first start. Granted, we used quite a few of our cooldowns in order to do that, but the that was a incredibly tough pack overall. We got ourselves uh, nicely in position. Good, let's continue to scout. And I think we're going to be a bit adventurous. I want to make sure that uh, we are going to push for those two crates. So, first one who is moving, if 
effectively is checking whether or not there are enemies. Okay. We'll do that and that. Don't want to push my luck too much. Three more turns until run and gun. If that isn't a massive pack of losts. Might be a really good flamethrower. We play our uh, cards right, and we are playing them very, very well. That will give us death from above. Anyone want a souvenir? On Overwatch. Into Overwatch. Let's try to get the brood. Okay, and even though I... Hmm, no. He's going to die, so I'd rather reload. So we're ready next turn. Ataxia stays here, and we can get some... Plus I have a plenty of other options. Steady weapon. Nice, very nice. Let's start looking for. We've got an enemy squad here. Oh wow! For the next crates. Hmm. That's what up there is quite tough. I want to start moving into that direction without pulling them. Is this you're going to pull? No. Okay, reload with body locks. This is likely going to pull. We know this is not, so... Let's move up. Overwatch here. They should have hurt the entire fight. I was fully expecting them to come in. Did we just lose one of our crates <laughs> due to fire? Really? Double checking if they are standing anywhere here. It seems to be not the case.
They must have moved on. You two could uh, take all of the wares from above. Or could they have been? Uh, so, oh, they were going through here, which means they're in this room, which is currently closed, uh, sealed off from our room. Might as well, since there are still, there's still some stuff here. Are we getting greedy? Mm. Now let's just position ourselves uh, there. Good overall position. And at the same time, high ground here, here is better. Good. We got one crate, two more on the rooftop. That's three. That's okay. It's not genius by any stretch of the imagination, but it is okay. And with these crates, we might just leave and call it a day. Ah, seeing them through here, I see. On my way. That's affirmative. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. Got it covered. Never mind, of course these guys needed to be triggered. Scout. So for starters, we're opening the chest. Got that. Okay. It's just 50-50, I don't like that at all. But what we can do is move here, both barrels and just kill this guy. Maximizing damage. points of damage What's over there? Really low damage unfortunately Continuing to hit the mech. Not fantastic damage. Take a look at this. You want some more? 
hair trigger is very good and some big fat focus all right we're doing we're doing okay Texia has blade storm so the loss are not a problem with him Continuing to harass the scout. Unfortunately missed him. We got six turns. So I guess what we can do is... Get down here and then we're killing the scout. And we're making our way out. I wonder just really how how that works because if you think about it how does someone quite literally step next to someone else then take a shot with a shotgun is he just using pallets and that's about it guys down to almost nothing Most efficient way to take the big guy out, which is what we needed to do. Look, unfortunately it has to come to this. Luckily, burning is their absolute weakness. So with a flamethrower, the losses are very nicely countered. Unfortunate for us. That means sometimes someone needs to take some one for the team. out the taxia uses the dash in order to also get into a favorable position we're combining moving out with dealing damage Move up. No problem, boss. Reloading Overwatch, and all we need to do is get out of here. Interesting. Enemies are there. So that's good, that's good info, fabulous info. Look, we could move all the way to here. We do have still four more rounds, right? Uh, 
How about this? There's no chance that there's anything back here. It seems to me the Viper might be here. I don't know. Uh, I'm going. Absolutely. Whatever you say. Affirmative. On it. Get out of here. This is Firebrand. Package is secured. Oh, no. Good. It was great, but it was honest work. The flanking crit from the spark was unnecessary, to say the least, but... It, how am I to foresee that the pack which uh, stays there for two rounds all of a sudden decides to then move, then a mech jumps up, and then it gets a random action to shoot us. This is why I don't like yellow alert a lot. Some people just think it's the best uh, thing uh, or the best invention since sliced bread. I personally don't like situations where you just get punished without you being able to do anything about it. Electroshock I like a lot. Oh, unlimited power plus electroshock is great. Good, you're going electroshock. In the meantime, close and personal isn't bad. Walk fire I like, but um, I also like ever vigilant. Just turns out that when you are double moving, it's so good to have that extra option. I like reposition. Once per turn, gain an additional move action after taking a standard shot at a flanked or exposed target. That is like uh, implacable. Precision shot is good, but we're going with Lone Wolf. And far in the hole. Very good. So you can see we got uh, four promotions thanks to Ataxia's trial by far. Wrong Planet is now a sergeant. That means he's no longer automatically promoted. So if we're looking at the Imperial Fists, Wrong Planet is a Sergeant. Got a low level Shinobi here, Lance Corporal. Hmm. Anyone else that we have? Got another Corporal Gunner. So that's a good option. And that's a good option and we're putting the sharpshooter out mainly because this is kind of the training squad the imperial fists uh, to get everybody to uh, sergeant and then from there on we can uh, take it further certainly dreadnought here could use some uh, some action as well all right so we were, I think, still trying to get a lot of missions at the same time. So, not happening. Jailbreak, unfortunate, happening either. And Grey Knights are already taking that. Let's continue to scan. 
Got a new spark going. And our equipment is ready to begin assembly, Commander. Just give the word and we'll build the skull jack. I'm wondering if there are a couple of things that I actually uh, believe we should be getting besides the sparks. The sparks are good, don't get me wrong, and but we do have two now. We'll, we'll get more. Uh, we'll get more. Battle scanner is not bad. Tail and rounds would be very good. Hasmas vest is fantastic. That's just a straight up awesome upgrade with immunities to a lot of nasty stuff that's happening and for 20 supplies might as well do that and alloy plating both important upgrades seven and thirteen and with it it's five and nine I think we'll need that at the moment, so might as well continue with it. And our wounds for the first time are looking really, really good. Sure, Baldilox here has taken a severe hit, but that here is so, so helpful as well. Okay. I wonder why we're not getting any further missions. We're scanning like absolute crackheads. Okay, prevent the resistance data leak. That's not bad. Destroy the alien relay. And we're getting intel for that. Fair enough, good for me. Let me fix the SWAT real quick. Okay, we're off for an infiltration. Strength and vigilance is rising here as well. That makes it difficult to do anything. I wonder if we should scan over here. Yeah, only after this mission is gone. Which will be when exactly? 16 hours, okay. Because after that is gone, it begins to respawn immediately without any, um, without any cooldown. But then we need to fill the intel bucket, as in the, the bucket that is required to detect it. Cool. Intense training. We could continue just to find uh, his uh, his stronghold, which there is a decent chance that he will ambush us. I like the idea of gaining. I really like the idea of gaining an engineer. We could use one. Resistance contacts aren't bad either, but we're soon having enough. I'm wondering, shall we expand further? I could use the North American continent bonus. That would require us getting more uh, supplies which we can build a radio tower and essentially go there Intel looks fine we could do that in the meantime if we're getting another engineer that wouldn't be bad either would it
So just out of curiosity, if we're picking, for instance, Sergeant, Sergeant, and then that's a good crew for seven days. Another question that I'm having is, are higher bonds reduce, uh, do higher bonds still reduce uh, the uh, infiltration, uh, the time for those missions? So you are together with Igor. Where do I find Igor? Right there. Okay, cool. So Igor and Euler, that gets down to six days and failure chance is very low. That saves us an entire day, which is huge if you think about it. So still an ambush chance. Let's just double check. Want to equip us correctly. Uh, you were still Equipped with a rifle, it doesn't matter, it's not that bad of a deal. No, wrong planet. Uh, we don't need another sniper if we're going on to this mission. I much rather would... Maybe take a... Another Shinobi. Now nah, it needs to be Sergeant rank or higher for zero percent failure chance. Okay, that looks good. We'll even get another one until the end of uh, the month uh, because we used everything like level two bond and uh, speed up over here. So that's not bad. I am wondering, I think now is a good time to start expanding. I just need uh, funds as always. Black market is kind of my absolute favorite uh, go-to place a bit of that uh, yeah focus isn't great and they know that because that's why they only give you two but I'll take two for it I don't want to sell too many corpses yet. That. Couple of max. Mm. One. Couple of vipers. They are used for poison rounds and so on, but we do have plenty. Uh, we'll keep the trooper corpses for our new vests that we that I want to build. Do we have another data pad or something along those lines? I was selling quite a few of them. There we go. So you figured out a new trick, eh? Install a radio relay. It's certainly not going to scare me off. Eight days. <sighs> okay.
John is the only one uh, who can train. We definitely need to uh, um, take uh, the PSI operatives on to missions so that they can continue to train. One day, five hours, not happening. Seven days, that's more like it. Reduce enemy strengths and we can even keep the material. That's a fantastic mission. Space Wolves have a couple of them on covert action. The Ultramarines could deploy. Since it is a relatively good map to do that. Hmm. We could get all of uh, the enemies in, uh, and can keep their corpses. So. I wonder if we want to take another sharpshooter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tend to not do teams that are much larger than six, mainly because there are more missions that we can do. And I just mentioned we want the Psy operatives to be trained up. And we also got the sparks. So how about we're actually testing a spark? We have plenty of time, you're ready, that's good. Uh, so let's equip everybody and give that one a go. Good, we got another deployment. At the moment the missions are finally kicking back in. My main question is still, are we, should we scout here for the liberation or not? I think we need to just trust in the process of the liberation that we're going to uh, eventually find it. It would make sense now that the liberation here is cancelled to maybe shift a scientist. We got two days and seven days on the training. Uh, they should train. Free this up. We don't have many wounded soldiers at the moment and that allows us to put a haven advisor in here scientists help uh, with just better scouting i would put an engineer on the supplies just to increase uh, that but unfortunately we don't have enough engineers So it just needs to work without it. Arclight helps a bit with recruiting here and that's about it. Okay, well, we can do that the next time. I need to think that through. Okay, that's pretty much it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it and uh, see you in the next episode. Take a very good care. Bye-bye.